Good morning, eighth graders. So this is the foldable that is available to you in the Choose 2 um, water cycle precipitation options. So um, types of clouds. We didn't talk about clouds specifically. So if you're looking for more information, I am going to link um, a video or two into the Schoology page to kind of help you with this because this is more so a take it and run with it sort of a thing. So types of clouds. Meteorologists classify clouds into three main types based on their shape, uh, cumulus, stratus, and cirrus. Clouds are further classified by their altitudes. Using your knowledge of clouds, complete the following activity by identifying each cloud and matching the correct description with each cloud diagram. Okay, so Directions. Label each cloud by its name on the following types of clouds page. So, on this side, okay, you are going to identify the um, main types. So, we're looking at eight different types of clouds. So, the one that you probably are most familiar with would be this guy. And that is because these are cumulus clouds. These are the fluffy white ones that we see throughout our sky um, on like nice summer days. So I'm just going to write cumulus right above it. Okay, you're going to do that with the remaining seven. Now, Cut out the flaps, quote unquote, using the dotted lines, being careful to only cut the three sides so the flap opens. Now, what does that mean? Well, if I were to cut out my cumulus flap, I'm gonna need my scissors. And the best way I have found to do this, you could, if you have like an exacto knife or you felt confident like going across like this, but the safest, please, because I, I can't do that today, is if you just pinch it in half a little bit. Don't make a crease, but just kind of hold it in half and then do a little snip. This then opens up a little spot right here that you can insert your scissors and continue to trim. And you're only trimming these three dotted lines. Okay. Sorry if you can hear the snow plow. They are now just deciding to come to our neighborhood. Okay, so that to where now, if I were to, I can open it up like this. Okay, now you will have a piece of construction paper that goes under this. I just forgot to grab one this morning or before I made this recording. So. So cut out the flap on the dotted line. Did that, sweet. Now number two, cut out the description below and correctly paste behind each cloud diagram. So if we look here, we have our eight different little definitions and I'm not sure, okay? So what you're going to do is through this and what I found that works the best is if you cut it out, and you first just place the descriptions on which clouds you think it is. So if I were to okay so If I were to take these descriptions, so thundercloud that produces precipitation and sometimes hail or uh, resembles balls of cotton low enough to have a 3D appearance, things like that, um, I would then just place, okay, I think this one goes with that one and this one goes with this one before I make any final decisions. And if you're doing this in class, please come and ask your teacher. We would be happy to kind of help say, mm, maybe not sort of a thing, but these are correct, by the way. So I'm gonna then just move them and what it is asking is to paste it behind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of line it up to where the words are gonna show through, I don't know if you can see that very well, show through the hole. 
And then I'm just gonna take a piece of tape. You can use glue. Um, I prefer not staples because those just get clumsy. So I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna tape it right behind to where when you open the flap, you can see the description. Okay, so that use your knowledge of clouds to draw a cirrocumulus cloud at the proper altitude. Okay, so we, you will have learned about what a cirrus cloud is. We now know what a cumulus cloud is. So you have to kind of figure out where you would find those. And then color and paste um, the completed diagram, not into your science notebook, but just onto a piece of construction paper. Okay, so that make sure you place your name on this. So my name, not, you need to put your name, please. Okay, and then that will be turned into the tray or online. Fantastic, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask um, and your teachers will be happy to help. Awesome, thank you.